September worst month for the share market. BSC Sensex and the Nifty plunged more than 6% in September 2018 and recorded as worst monthly fall in the last 31 months. It is just because of the weak global sentiments and soaring crude oil price, falling rupee very badly and rising bond yields. Mutual funds also perform very badly, especially those mutual funds which are based on the banking sector. Mutual funds of banking category slipped the most at 13.37%, followed by small caps down 12.19%, mid caps down 11.37%, and the infrastructure oriented funds down 11%. Rest funds fall between the 4 to 10% in the month of September 2018. Aditya Birla, Sun Life Banking and the Financial Service Fund slipped most during the month at 17.3% being the worst performer among the banking funds. LIC Mutual Fund Banking and Finance, Financial Service Fund and Reliance Banking Fund declined over 15% in the September. We could see some more downside in the banking stock to the strengthen the liquidity as per the market experts we could wait for the banking sector until things settle down and they also expecting more downside in the coming days so for few days it is better to just wait and watch and measure the market conditions among small cap equity funds hsbc small cap equity fund sundaram small cap fund icici potential small cap fund and the dsp small cap fund slipped more than 13 percent among mid-cap funds, Motila Oswal mid-cap 100 exchange traded fund down 13.67%, DHFL uh, Pramerica uh, mid-cap opportunity fund down 12.92%, Tata mid-cap growth fund 12.44% down and the Baroda Pioneer fund down 12.4% are the top losers. Among infrastructure oriented funds, HSBC infra equity fund dipped 15.41%. HDFC Infra Fund down 14.85% and BOI AXA Manufacturing and the Infra declined 14.85%. Among multi-cap space, IIFL focused equity funds down 14%, Invesco India multi-cap fund down 12.59% and the Tata Retirement Saving Fund down 12.34%. In the India, there are several largest companies in their sector belongs to the mid-cap and the small caps. So, multi-cap funds are good for the investment. Among pharma space, UTI Healthcare Fund, Tata India Pharma and the SBA Healthcare Opportunities Fund lost 6.44%, 6.28% and 4.45% respectively in the September. International funds managed to deliver positive return to the investors in the last one month. HSBC Brazil Fund, DSP World Mining Fund and the Reliance Japan Equity Fund advanced 8.83%, 7.86% and 4.93% respectively during the month of September. I think for the fresh investment, we all should wait to settle down the market and don't try to make fresh positions on the basis of news or the events. Rather try to go with the fundamental growth of the company and the business in the long term. Just go with the trend of the share market and then you will realize that you are making good money.